we have a guest for you guys. We have okay. Dimitri Felton. Everybody so, be kind. Everybody be nice. Hype him up. This is a big deal. Does he know he's our first ever guest? No. But he is. Surprise. I had no clue. Yeah, I mean, we've had guests on other things, but for this specific show, one you're the guy. The yeah, you're the guy. You're the number one. So This is a big honor. Please don't take it lightly. It's a big deal. <laughs> I'm, honored. I'm honored to be here. We are happy to have you. Thank you for coming on. Um, like we told you pre-show, super casual, shoot the shit, just hang out. Um, we've got a list of just like dumb questions to ask you. So it'll be dumb, fun. Jo dumb jokes with Dimitrik is what we have to ask you. <laughs> but first, we just, yeah, we just want to say like, how is your Cleveland experience? You got drafted, you're in Cleveland, Ohio. How has it been since that? It's been like really great for me. Uh, I've really had, you know, a good chance to just explore a little bit around here, like during the off time. And I like it. I'm getting used to Cleveland. Uh, and I'm just so happy that I got picked up by this team. And you're going to have to get used to the cold pretty soon. So. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's something that I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> Did you pack a coat, a winter coat? I didn't, but like I've been searching for a really good one. You got to point me in the right yeah. direction. Add some mittens, add some snow boots, a couple beanies. You're going to need it. You got to yeah. like get cracking on that. It's going to start getting <laughs> cold real soon. No, yeah, cool. like Thursday, it's going to be cold probably. It feels cold to me right now. Like, cool. Yeah, because it's 50 oh. degrees. That's so cold. Yeah. Yeah, Thursday's going to be 60s, but raining. So. Oh, yuck. Sheesh. Sheesh. Yeah. Well, that's so. that ball security in the rain, though. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to ask you a little bit about Thursday. So, Brie, all you. Just a little tiny bit. Just a one small. question. What is your mindset going into this week? This is kind of like a big week for you. Yeah. So, um, you know, we, we've had some injuries on the team. And you know, when that happens, you just have to be ready for whatever the team may need you to do uh, in someone's absence. And so that's always been my mindset, just uh, be ready for any opportunity. And so uh, it, it, nothing's really changed for me this week. Like, I'm, I'm still, you know, just trying to prepare and waiting for whatever they use me, and I just want to do my best. Just big time, like, next man up mentality, it sounds like. Yeah. Next man up, for sure. That's it. <laughs> We got a lot of that this week, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. So yeah, yeah I uh, this okay. So like I said last week, this was my last week of not really being able to watch football at this wedding. We only streamed the Pats game. Dimitri, if you can't tell, big Boston fan. <laughs> um, <laughs> if like none of this back here gave it away, <laughs> so uh, I didn't get to watch any of the Browns game, but I saw on social media and Twitter that you know the injuries were piling up so i uh mm -hmm. which sucks because you never want to see anybody get hurt but it's exciting for we're excited for you now just having for you be our first best you mm -hmm. got a special place in our heart now so we're excited for you oh yeah we're excited to see you on lebron james instagram story <laughs> hell yeah this oh weekend my God. oh thursday yeah <laughs> What else? But don't Gab? worry. I, uh, Gab told me you're a big Star Wars guy. Is this true? Huge, huge Star Wars fan. Okay. I have one question about that, and it's a very big deal. And if you don't answer correctly, we might just have to drop you from the screen. So choose your words it. wisely. <laughs> Do you are you a like a prequel guy or a sequel guy? I feel like the sequels are no, 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 no. I'm a big prequel guy instead okay. of the the sequels aren't that good to me okay that's the correct answer so you can yeah. say all right cool <laughs> see i'm listening to you guys and i'm like yeah i don't have any idea what <laughs> we're talking about here i've watched like three star wars movies none of them were bad <laughs> but that's all that i've seen that's all i've seen yeah so were they the original ones yeah what did you say are they the original i don't know what they were i just showed up like the old ones no they weren't old Okay, so then they're probably the sequels, the ones that like just came out in the last couple of years. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's been years since I've watched them also. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm used to something. She has no idea. I'm not, I, I don't know. I'm not watching things like that. I'm watching, like, I watched Squid Game. 
I watched Squid you already. Okay, I'm in the middle of that right now. Don't spoil anything for me. Which I'm- one? You were Squid Game. Squid Game. Well, yeah, it's no yeah. spoilers. You'll cry on- and then you'll get mad. So I'm on episode <laughs> three or f- I think four now. Yeah, you got a lot. You got a lot to get into. Yeah, you is pretty good so far though. Did the I'm new season out. come out already? Yeah, don't worry. I watched it in the first night. I started at like 10 and I woke up. I went all the way to like 7 in the morning. Okay. So I know what I'm doing this week. Yeah, that's what we're doing this week. I forgot, okay. I forgot that that was like a recent thing. Like it was coming on soon. So I already said dumb jokes, but can you tell us one? What was your go-to? Well, wait, before you go, let me tell everybody who doesn't know. You have a TikTok series. You have a TikTok series. Why do you have to roll your eyes like that? You know what it is. Yes, I do. But you have a TikTok series on the Cleveland Browns TikTok where you are telling dumb jokes to your teammates. You got any for us? All of those came from the internet. Like I just (laughs) went online and searched up some dad jokes. That's, I mean, at least he's being honest. It's, yeah. That's yeah. fair. But you gave the people what they wanted. It was great content. I, I hope so. I couldn't even watch it. Like, I, I haven't seen it once. Do you want to watch it or you just pass, pass by? I just pass by. Would it be like a secondhand embarrassment thing? Yeah. You know, it's just like, you're, <laughs> See, you're like you're so talking small. to the right people about that. Yeah. <laughs> Because we're yeah. putting everything on there. Listening, listening to yourself talk on video and stuff, it's the weirdest thing. Yeah. And especially when you're making just like the corniest jokes possible. Exactly. It's just mm-hmm. like 10 times worse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, especially when you do it at the tailgates. Yeah. Well, These people say some crazy stuff to you. I so. bet. You, gotta get, you got the alcohol influence in there too. It's no filter. <laughs> No filter. No filter. It's bad. Okay, so the people also want to know, which most of us do know, but who are your best friends on the team? Who do you hang out with? Who do you see all the time? It's definitely Greg Newsom and Anthony Schwartz. Y'all are like... Yeah, we're like always together, basically. So I actually funny you say that i interviewed anthony before the draft oh you did yeah Yeah. on the other show i was doing at the time we had him on um and i was trying to convince him to somehow coax his way into getting drafted by the pats because we all know (laughs) we need a fast receiver that obviously didn't work but not that it would have worked anyway you can't really kind of talk somebody into getting drafted somewhere but yeah would have been nice that would have been nice. It would have been mean, nice. I'm glad, to I'm glad we have him here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that it's not what you wanted, but like I appreciate the effort. I'm jealous of you guys. So if that makes you <laughs> this a little bit better. Yeah, it was cool because me and Anthony actually like trained together um, during like the draft process. And so like and that's when I first met him and then we went to the same team. So it was really cool. So I was like you had that's a friend awesome. there. Yeah. Aww, Are there any games that you're looking like most forward to for the rest of the season? Like any teams that you're looking forward to playing? Um, definitely the Steelers. Oh, sheesh. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that next <laughs> week for you guys? Yeah, Halloween. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm definitely looking yeah. forward to Yeah, so like to that's going to be a crazy game. Like I think you should – like I think people already tell you about it. Yes. Yeah, so but... I hear about it like all the time. And so to be able to like – participate in it oh yeah it's gonna be awesome is that a awesome. is that a home game the first yeah it is i believe so yeah yeah that'll be cool on halloween oh man yeah. the crazies are gonna be out <laughs> yeah gonna be be everywhere. There. don't worry we'll make sure we get them we'll get the content for them yeah you got it got the it. people also want to know who you think's the best dressed on the team best dressed I would have to go with yourself. I'm like split. I'm like split, huh? Yourself? No, nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna vote myself. <laughs> okay. But um, Jed and Donovan Peoples Jones are like I really. Yeah, like they do be. Yeah. yeah. They dress really good. 
See, you're not gonna say Odell. Odell dresses is good too, but like, <laughs> I feel like it's just like not fair, you know? Because it's just Odell. <laughs> yeah. That's like, fair. If you, if you were to see like his closet, you would be like, "What is this? Like, it's it looks like a store." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, we have your fit up on our little stream right now. The little throwback pullover sweatshirt oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sweatshirt is actually kind of fire see oh, i yeah. i don't know i'm the color brown like clothing wise is starting to grow on me just because like that's what's trending right now and i see all of your guys is like outfits for the games and everything i'm like huh it looks pretty good yeah, yeah you can make cute fits you really can't like the outfit you wore gab and mad because Madison's in here, the outfit that you guys wore, I was like, I stuff like that. could never pull this off for a Pats game because the colors are just... You can only do so much of red, white, and blue without looking like the American flag just like threw up yeah. all over you. So, yeah. uh, See, listen, we thought we were looking so cute, which we were, but then we ended up sitting right beside Lola Woods and we were like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing it. So that was cool. That was really cool. But yeah, Nice little bring you back down to earth moment. Mm -hmm. When I asked people to drop questions for you, someone didn't drop a question. They said, "When did ASAP? A Jesus, when did ASAP Rocky start playing for the Browns?" Wow. What? That's a great compliment. I mean, like, yeah, like it's a cool compliment. It's just funny though, because me and my a friend of mine, like, I always tell him that people say that to me, and he just like is like, no, like. There's no well, way. Send him this <laughs> screenshot. He's like, yeah, it's right. Dude, so basically, well, you're dating Rihanna. We'll flip this for you so you can walk around and say that. So, congratulations on the girlfriend. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Ask her when the new album's dropping. We need it. What'd you say? We can't wait to see you guys courtside at the Lakers game. <laughs> yeah. Also, are you a basketball fan? Are you going to watch any basketball tonight? Um. I used to be like a bigger basketball fan. That's why I noticed the Kevin Garnett jersey because I used to be a big Celtics fan. Oh, used to. Yeah, I used to. Never I, I don't a better really time watch, to come back. I don't really watch basketball like that anymore. Never what better about time the to come back. Jason Tatum is that guy. Maybe be a Cavs fan. I'm gonna have to be now. Yeah, that's because I guess. I that's moved that's here that. and then Evan, Evan Mobley. Yeah, he like grew up in my hometown, basically, in California. So I forgot to share more. Yeah. Y'all ever, like, talk, say anything? What'd you say? Y'all ever, like, see each other, say anything? I mean, he lives in my building, but, like, I never see him. And, you know, we're probably both just busy with work. So I'll okay. catch him. Yeah. yeah, but you're going to have to show up to the Cavs game. They'll put you in the front row. You guys can do a jersey swap. I'll coordinate with my people for you, and then we'll make it happen. All right. That sounds good to me. <laughs> and then you'll have an Evan Mobley moment. There yeah. you go. Especially if you guys are, like, basically neighbors. That's, I mean, we got to yeah. make this happen. Exactly. Okay. I only have one more question because I ask this to everybody. I already asked you, but you can't use that answer. You can't use it. You need, like, you need a real answer. I need a real answer. Yeah, man. yeah. Well, what's the question, know what first? the question first? Yeah. Here's the question. If you could have one teammate to have your back in a fist fight, who are you oh, picking and why? This is a good one. Miles, for sure. That's, like, easy. Miles Garrett. And why? See, that's because a good answer. Because, you know, like, it's you don't have to say why. You just look at him, and then that's <laughs> it. You know? Yeah, like today he had to get drug tested again because he didn't wear sleeves That's under his shirt. Did you see that? No, I didn't know it happened again. I saw the first time, but like... Yeah, he posted time. on his Instagram story after he went to the Harry Styles concert. He went to... It was so crowded, like, downtown yesterday. Yeah, it was great. You, oh, he was yeah, there. You went to, yeah. He was there. He posted on his story after. He said, I have to get drug tested again. They sent him a text. It said, please confirm. He didn't reply. They sent another one that said, please confirm with like three dots after and he posted on his Instagram story. Because, do you think it's because oh, yeah, he they, went to the they, Harry they Styles pressed. concert? No, 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 no. I'm just saying because that was like right after and then he said, wow. every time I wear no sleeves under my jersey, 
the feds want to get me. I mean, his That's arms are ridiculous. So, yeah. yeah. It makes but sense. Okay, but then who else? Was, so who was your answer beforehand then? If Gab said you couldn't use your first answer. Clowny? That was oh. Greg. Yeah. Are you Greg? Oh, yeah. I did, say, <laughs> <laughs> I did say Greg because one, he's like my best friend. Two, I know, like, even if we do get beat up, like, I know he's going to give me, like, everything he has. Yeah, you so know? you just get your ass kicked together. So it's worth yeah. it. Yeah, so, okay. like, it would be, like, it would definitely be worth it. Nice. Clowny's a good answer, too, though. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot a lot of people on that Browns team I would like to have my back in a fist fight, that's for sure. <laughs> and same. Miles and Jadavion are definitely, like, top of the list. Yeah. So... Well, I think that's all we got for you. All right. Thanks for having me. Right. Yeah, yeah, we really appreciate you being we... on here. Yeah. And before you go, plug your socials, plug whatever you got. Tell us oh, what yeah. we need to know. Um, I have my merch store. I think it's just Dimitri Felton. Uh, you just have to search that up. Uh, my Instagram, Dimitri Felton7. Twitter is the same thing. Uh, give me a follow. Uh, hit me with some more questions if you want and uh, definitely keep on watching this show. I had a great time and I'm definitely going to tune in now. Okay, oh, well, so with that being said, you're going to get like a plaque that's going to say honorary first guest of Unsportsmanlike Conduct. Yeah, we'll make a whole trophy. We'll like bring it in with bottles. There'll be pop people popping bottles, oh, yeah. fireworks, everything. That sounds amazing. And a nice little balloon. Yeah, it says <laughs> thank you. Awesome. Okay, but yeah. Good luck. We'll be yes. watching on Thursday. And yeah, Thank have a great you. rest of your night. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good one. All right. You too. Uh, that's it, Gab. We did it. We did our guests. <laughs>